Let me see it. Come on now. Ron, right, I'm all right. Are you sure you took a nasty tumble? I barely skinned my knee. You, you didn't have to call time out. And you certainly didn't have to rip Dwayne's shirt to make a bandage. Dwayne, <laughs> I am so sorry about your shirt. Hey, no problem. The shirt's his. <laughs> well, I better go get cleaned up. I'm going bowling. Aren't you two going to dinner? Yes. No. <laughs> Ron, it's my last night. I want to have a little fun. Are you trying to say that I'm not fun? No. Yes, you are. I heard it. Didn't you hear us say on that phone? My name is Leah, and I can't hear. <laughs> no, well, I heard it. And I'll have you know for your information, I'm a lot of fun. And I plan an evening of big fun. We're going to the Happy Crab. Now tell me that's not big fun. It's not. Well, you know what? Until you graduate, there is no way I'm coming to school here. Well, yeah? Well, go up to the stairs and go to your room. <laughs> Did you see that? Hey, my name is Lee. I can't see. <laughs> I just came by to get you. Senior banquet ticket request. Yeah, thanks. Whitley, 25 guests? It was almost 26, but I told Mama if she brings TT to the dinner, that dog will be dinner. <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. Decide which one of your job offers you're going to take? Um, yeah, I accepted the Hamilton Winslow offer. You know, I figured I'd be close enough that I could smell the burgers at the pit, but making enough money that I won't have to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, will be in the neighborhood as an assistant art buyer at E.H. Wright Industries. You better do it, girl. <laughs> that is a very dynamic and competitive field. How'd you get in it? Well, I actually had the job here. Oh. Got the connections. A friend of your mother's? Why does everybody think every time I have a problem, I run to my mama? Because you do, Blanche. <laughs> Jaleesa, she just set up the interview. I'm the one who read their art catalog. I've been studying it. I know every acquisition they made in the last three years and how they acquired it. I'm going to go in there Monday and show them what I got. Well, we two executivos must do lunch. Your expense account or mine? You. <laughs> oh, we having a little dinner with some twins, perhaps? One, two, three? Uh, no, just a friend. I thought maybe you'd like to join us. Oh, no, brother. Not into that menage of kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner? No. Hello. Hello. Oh, you don't have time to go out to dinner with your only brother. You have to go bowling. And now you're having dinner in some man's apartment? He's no man. He's Dwayne. Hey, oh, oh, that's not nice to insult the host. Now sit on down. Well, he started it. No, no, I'll tell you who started it. You did, and you're ungrateful behind it. You want to shake all over this campus. <laughs> Ron, wherever I go to school, I'm going to be able to take care of myself. Ron, just listen to Whose side are you on? It doesn't matter whose side I'm on. The girl came here to talk to you. Now sit down and be nice. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> Now, Ron, you have always, always been there for me. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for you, I never would have learned how to ride my bike. Or <laughs> my hair. Or write my name. <laughs> you learned about a third grade, I did. RJ, I I'm not in third grade anymore. I'm growing up. I want to come to school here at Hellman, but if I do, you have to let me have my space. I promise you, I'll give you all the space you need. Oh, and I'll only check on you once a month. Or twice a week. Make that every other day. You need the color and everything like prepared by the Prince of the Taco. Mmm, looks delicious. Looks can be deceiving. I've had this brother's taco. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Oh. Oh. Hey, big brother, I heard you were having a dinner party. Sorry I'm late, I couldn't find a date. But I did bring a dessert. And speaking of sugar, <laughs> you're so sweet, I get a toothache just looking at you. Why? Oh no, you're grown, you're on your own. <laughs> uh, Miss Gilbert, good morning. Mr. Santos, eat for family. Yes, thank you. We're hoping the little one will grow into her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I've reviewed your resume, and I see you have quite an extensive art background. Art's my middle name, and my first love. I've made nothing lower than a B-plus in my major, and only two of those. Well, I'm impressed. 
So, um, why are you seeking employment with this firm? My mother plays canasta with your wife's cousin. <laughs> Honesty, I like that. Oh, and the fact that E.H. Wright owns one of the most prestigious and extensive art collections in the country. Especially with your latest acquisition of those Gauguin. Oh, you've done your homework. He noticed. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are obviously well-traveled, multilingual, and you know your art. But um, I don't see anything in your resume about business experience. Business? Finance. Um, Mr. Santos, I have to be honest with you again. You know how those A's and B's I make in my art courses? Yes. My math grades are slightly lower. Significantly lower. And I just didn't feel that business was relevant to my life. Oh, but it is very relevant to this job. You see, I'm looking for someone who understands the financing of major art purchases, the complex structure of loans. Someone with work experience, some business courses, perhaps a summer internship, museum work, negotiating skills, someone with some knowledge of auction processes. I mean, basically, you wanted someone who was more qualified for the job. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Guess I'll go home with Mama and spend the first few months redecorating my room. Won't be that bad. TT will be dead soon. <laughs> now that's something to look forward to. <laughs> Whitley, if you want to become an art buyer, why don't you just stay in school another year and take some business classes? Are you in cahoots with Mr. Santos? He said the same thing. Yes, something to that effect, and I had a summer internship if I do. Well, that's your answer. A lot of people stay in school a fifth year. That's right. Well, hip, hip, hooray for a lot of people. <laughs> I'm graduating in May. My mother has a whole canasta club coming to senior banquet. She already has the graduation invitations in the mail. Let's face it, guys. I blew it. it it's too late. You know, if I thought like that, I'd still be waiting tables back in Camden, New Jersey. Now, Whitley, I was 24 years old when I started college. I decided back then that I was not going to let anything or anyone keep me from getting the education I needed in order to get the job that I wanted. Well, that's you. <laughs> okay, fine. Go home to your mama and her dying dog. <laughs> No, that is not what I want to do. I want to be an art buyer. Then take the classes. What am I going to tell Mama? What you just told us. I lied. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> She's no hope of you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I tell her I got a man. Oh. A freshman. <laughs> hmm.